Hey, what is up? My name is Rubidium. Today we're looking at shooting outside in full sun with just diffusion, no lights involved. So I did a studio lighting tutorial a couple of months ago now. Um, it's proved really popular. A lot of people asked me um, if I could do something for ex daytime exterior work. Um, I didn't. I don't have that many big strong lights um, to overpower the sun, but I definitely have a 4x4 frame um, which I put up here uh, with some diffusion on it, some um, full grid, <clears throat> and I have a reflective. Um, I have a, like a DIY Home Depot reflector behind me uh, on a lighting stand um, and it's, it works out pretty well. Um, there are much better ways to do this, uh, there are more professional ways to do this. This is quick, it's easy, it's reasonably safe. Shooting outside in the sunlight, um, especially outside of uh, magic hour, I'm watching this light stand which is threatening to come down, crashing down on me, which we'll get to soon. Um, shooting outside uh, in daylight in the sun is a really tough thing to do. It's much better to be um, in closed shade, under trees, under a building, and then add light back in. But if you have to shoot outside, um, uh, this is probably the way to do it. You're not going to get a stronger source than the sun. Um, it's you know 70,000 lux at day <laughs> daytime. Um, you're really pushing up against uh, not so much what you can diffuse, but what your actors can be in. The heat, uh, it's about four o'clock now. I tried this at 2 p.m. and I was only able to be in the direct sun um, for a couple of minutes. I couldn't get through the whole tutorial, so I put it off uh, until later in the afternoon. Still, we're about four hours from sunset, so it's certainly not magic hour. You could tell that I'm squinting a little bit, um, which I don't think is a bad thing. I think, I think it's weird when you see daytime interiors where the person just looks like they're inside with studio lighting, um, but it's not nearly as crazy as it would be if this diffusion wasn't here. I'll uh, I'll swing the diffusion away, and you can actually I'll probably have to go up a few more NDs, and you can see what that level looks like. So this is full sun, obviously facing the sun, <laughs> um, and it's not just too bright to sort of shoot in, but it's pretty much too bright to be interviewed in to act in to speak in so i want to use i want to swing the the diffusion back in uh and see what's uh i'll show you how exactly we construct this so the diffusion itself uh is stretched upon uh not very professionally i might add stretched on a four by four metal frame and rather than uh, a t-bar which i've used before on this channel uh, the metal frame allows you to uh come at an angle, come at an incline, um, and diffuse the sun on a much wider area. It now becomes the key, uh, and the ambient light uh, bouncing off everything else in the backyard becomes the fill. And then to accentuate that, I have this, um, I have this uh, piece of foam insulation with silver on it um, on a clapper, cl a clapper clamp um, on the top of a, another lighting stand. Now, everything's sandbagged, and you can probably tell by the, um, the leaves moving behind me that it's not a windy day, but there are there is a gentle breeze. There is uh, quite a few gusts coming through, and that tragedy of shooting outside uh, in the wind is that this is just how things work. It, you have to be very very vigilant. You have to over prepare. You have to put way more weight on things than you think they need because all it takes is one strong gust, uh, something like a four by four. Essentially, it's a sail. Um, so if you don't have enough protection for it, it's going to be blown right over. Um, into your camera, into your talent, into you. Uh, just err on the side of safety. Um, put a lot, as much weight as you have on these things when you're using them outdoors. You might notice behind me um, is nice and shady. I chose that for a reason. In fact, I probably should have gone a little bit more side on with my key, um, but it's too bright over there. Because I've exposed for this diffused sunlight, if I have um, pure sunlight behind me, it's gonna blow out, kind of give that, that white hot look that I didn't really want. So that's a quick little tutorial about shooting in daylight sun, diffusing it through um, a four by four, and basically uh, you know, getting a nice, usable, appropriate image um, for being outside in the daytime. Um, this is actually, uh, I've got the full grid, uh, but the old version, they make a new one now that's um, soundless. 
uh, so you don't get that flapping in the wind. Um, you could put an ultra bounce here. Um, they cost a lot more money, but they're a lot more angleable, uh, meaning that you can kind of really focus the sun uh, where you want to get it and get this nice hard edge on the talent's line, uh, talent's, side of the talent's head. If you uh, wanted to do this with two people, right? You wanted to have me here and a second person here, a four by four is just big enough some of the time, uh, but most of the time you're gonna need something bigger, like a six by six, which creates a whole new batch of problems because it's a much bigger area. Um, you need two C stands, you need more weight. It's, far, it's at far more risk of being blown over. Um, and sometimes you just, you know, you go out to, I've done that where I've gone out to shoot something. It's just been too windy and meaning it doesn't need to be windy at all to be too windy, but it just wasn't safe to set up the gear um, and put people underneath it for, for, for minutes at a time. Just for the sake of completeness, I thought I would spin around 180 and show the other way that um, outdoor exteriors get lit. Uh, this is a lot easier in my eyes. I'm able to <laughs> open up and um, look at things because I'm not, I'm no longer looking into the sun. I'm using the sun to give myself a rim light um, through the 4x4, which is above me. And I'm using what used to be my bounce now as a reflector to become my key and ambient again for the fill. It looks pretty good. You may notice that the, uh, the uh, light stand is in frame now, which isn't very professional. If you wanted to do this, you would probably get a, um, uh, a cutter or something else that uh, is longer and put it on a C-stand arm, but um, the principle would be the same. I would just be able to get this back a little bit. This paradoxically is easy to do in the middle of the day when the sun is higher and I don't have to, um, uh, don't have to compensate for such an acute angle. Maybe not as dynamic a frame, um, certainly not as a high noon a frame, but a lot easier on the actor and their eyes um, to be able to look uh, off camera and not have um, the blinding sun uh, in their eye line. I did bring out the matte box and had to put the eyebrow on to keep the sun out of the um, camera lens. So if you've watched my video on matte boxes, you'll know all about that. That's my daytime exterior um, lighting setup. Uh, shooting raw, you'll have to I'll be able to craft this more in post much more than I would if I was in the studio. I'd be doing a lot of that with lights because I'm using such kind of comparatively crude tools here outside, um, I'm gonna be able to do a lot more of that in post. But thanks very much for watching. Um, hopefully that helped someone out there. Uh, I know it helped me think about it. Um, I will see you next time.